Hey guys, it's Woody, and I'm excited about the new consoles that will be coming out this year, early next year, and it has me looking for news and searching for updates on these things all the time. There's this like balance. If you're a console manufacturer, on one level, you want everyone to be jazzed about your stuff, you want to be all hyped up, you want to talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. On the other side, the moment you do, the moment you start pimping, say, the PS4, then you're going to you know, stab a knife in your PS3 sales. So they haven't been talking about it yet, but they're about to. But me, I'm about to talk about it right now. So here are some of the new things that we know about. This is mostly a PS3, PS4, I should say, a focus video, and here we go. So the first thing, and I think the juiciest bit that I had to talk about, is they're going to change their controller. That DualShock controller that they've been using now has been their controller essentially for 16 years now. I, I think there are small changes between the, the controllers on the consoles, but essentially that same feel and form and that they have been using that, that's in there in the PS3 is going to get its first... I'll say notable update. You know, some of the other stuff like analog buttons or whatever, they, they, they're not big updates. Uh, we've got or the six axis thing. I don't think that was widely used in games, at least not in my opinion. But what's coming soon is going to be a major update. And like, well, you know, let's get into it. Here are the rumors. Uh, there's two, and I think they have variable levels of, I think they're both reliable. I just, I don't know. I don't know which one to trust. L let's get going. First, we have this guy. This guy looks a lot like the current DualShock controllers, except that you can split them apart and use them as a Move controller. If you guys don't know, you guys know, but Move is kind of the equivalent of Microsoft's Kinect or Wii's motion controllers. And they're going to use this thing, as one of the rumors, that, that has the little Move balls on it. And it'll be, I guess, you know, a dual purpose controller, you know, partly the DualShock thing and partly, you know, uh, I guess a, what I think of as a party game controller, right? You know, the, to me, that's what the movement games are about. They're not so much hardcore. I, I just don't think the controls are precise enough to satisfy hardcore gamers, but they're really good if you have people over and you want to have a good time. And, you know, there's definitely a place, in my opinion, for softcore games. Is that even a term? But, uh, um, you know, anyway, this is one of the controller rumors that they have out there, and it's interesting to me, but it's not the most interesting one. All right, so what's about to pop up is obviously a Photoshop. I, I, oh, by the way, see how I let him get that tag? That's how you play Kill Confirm, baby. He got the kill. He was obviously going for the tag. You don't foot race some guy to steal his tags. You you back off and you let him have it because he earned it. That's that's the rule. Everyone needs to know the rule. But um, back on topic. <laughs> um, this is the controller that's rumored for the PS4. And this is a Photoshop, I don't pretend it's anything else, but these are the features that they're talking about putting on it. On the front, an LCD screen. And I look forward to that. There are a lot of times, uh, not so much in shooter games, but in other games where I wish the scoreboard was there all the time. Like, uh, it, you know, in particular, not the scoreboard, but the LCD screen. In particular, like big games like Borderlands or Skyrim, I would love to have a map on the controller instead of a map that's, you know, where I go through the menu systems. Uh, it, it just... You know, for PCs, there are often so many buttons that you can just press it, you know, press it and pull up the map in a hurry. On consoles, you don't really have extra buttons, and it can be a pain in the butt sometimes to pull up a map and to navigate it and stuff like that. So I would love to have it on my controller. That's that's the instant thing that comes to mind when I think a secondary screen, you know, having uh, you know some maps in there. But I'm sure there's other reasons that you might want it too. Back on topic. It, on the front, it's going to have an LCD screen, and on the back, it's going to have you know some sort of biometric, you know, touchy type thing. And um, if you think buttons on the back are a crazy thing, they're really not. Like I use scuff controllers now, and they have paddles on the back that let me uh, knife and and do whatever without. To see, my teammate stole my kill. Damn it! They let me knife or jump or sprint or whatever I want to do uh, without taking my fingers off the you know, all the thumbsticks to do that sort of stuff, and it's awesome. So I can totally see how if they take this stuff, you know, along those same lines and put biometrics on the back and an LCD screen on the front, then, you know, that sounds to me like a pretty cool controller. That, to me, is something that Microsoft needs to be really aware of. You know, I'm saying it too nicely. I need to say what I think, and that is the features built into that controller are so awesome that if Microsoft doesn't move forward too, they're going to be left behind. Because you know the idea of biometrics on the back and the LCD screen on the front, clever games that, that take advantage of it, I, I would love that. 
So I hope that um, you know that all the other consoles see this, get scared, and start innovating too and making their controllers awesome. But that's not the only piece of news that I have. Um, the other is that Sony, in, spe- in particular their CEO, Kazu Haari, I'm terrible with Japanese names, has said that they are going to let Microsoft announce their stuff first. Um, the line goes like this. He says, why go first when you can let your competitors go first, look at their specifications, and come up with something better? That's what he says. Um, in actual truth, that's just bullshit. Um, you know, the, the planning for these consoles happens so far in advance that you cannot change your specs on your console you know in a couple of weeks or whatever and and to respond to what your competitors are doing even in a couple of months i mean these things get set in stone a while before that what you can do is let your competitors go first and then craft your message to you know sound the best you can to to point out the the areas where you're stronger and ignore the areas where you're weaker Uh, it might be an advantage to announce second i'm not sure Uh, to me though when i first heard it my my instant thought was, you know, <laughs> Sony is, is rumored to come out second. Uh, the, the current state of the rumors is this. The Steam Box is going to come out in the next couple of months, maybe this quarter. The Xbox is going to be out in time for Christmas, and the PS4 is going to be out early next year. That's the, that's the state of the rumors. So when he says he's going to let Microsoft announce first, I think to myself, well... Shucks, I mean, they, they, they might be letting Microsoft announce first because Microsoft is ready first. And, and that's, you know, just the current state of affairs here. So, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. It struck me as disingenuous. And, you know, I am neither a Sony nor a Microsoft hater. I mean, shucks, I bet early in the video when I praise the Sony controllers, the Microsoft guys are mad and now the Sony guys are mad. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And the Steam Box is really exciting too. If you don't know anything about that, Valve is coming out with a new console that's kind of PC-like. And um, uh, it's supposed to be awesome and it looks like it's definitely going to be the first one that's out there. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, we'll wait and see. They have 50 million users, which is more than either the Xbox or the PS3 on their Steam platform now. So they're not some sort of joke company. But I thought I'd share with you guys what I saw. I'm excited about it. You know, I can't wait for the new hardware to drop. This the, PC DMing is crushing it right now. They're, they're the number one guys. And, um, and I don't really care what platform it is, but I do like these platforms to keep on innovating. And the reason PC gaming is killing it is because they're innovating and these consoles are seven years old and and more well that's going to change and soon we'll have all these guys working as hard as they can for our hard-earned dollars and that is a good thing